Hi everyone, my name is Guillaume and welcome to this new episode of Head the Tone. Hello guys, I hope you're doing fantastic today. Welcome to this new episode of Hit the Tone on Toman's Guitars and Basses. If you're new to this series, I'm basically taking famous licks, riffs, and try to give you all the tools you need to hit the tone. It is a recommendation-based format, so whatever song you have in mind and you'd like to see on the channel, put it down in the comment section and I'll get to it as soon as possible. While you're down there, please consider liking this video and subscribing to the channel. Thank you very, very much in advance. And without further ado, let's start with today's song, which is Spoon Man by Sam Garden. Now before we get started, I just want to point out the fact that the sound that I'm going to go for right now is a bit of a hybrid in between what you can hear on the record and what was then used for live performances, because the gear tends to change quite drastically in between the two. Chris Cornell had a, a signature 335 style guitar with Gibson. I didn't have one right here with the kind of uh, pickups that I was looking for, uh, but this looked like it would fit the bill pretty well, ended up doing so. This is a D'Angelico guitar. I don't remember the name exactly, but it's basically a semi-hollow dual humbucker guitar. The link to all the specs and everything I'm using will be in the description box as usual, but it is a great looking and sounding and playing and everything guitar. And I'm gonna be using it in the bridge position, and that is our basic tone. <laughs> And that's it really, that's all there is to this sound. Um, we could stop there, but I feel like there's still uh, a few things to clear out. So we're gonna have a look at this in our amp and pedal section. Okay, when I said that the video could have stopped there, in terms of the sound in itself, yeah. Uh, I'm not gonna add anything else. I'm basically using my JCM 800 uh, combo and just the amps gain. As you can see on the screen, the preamp gain is all the way up. Now, in relation to what I was saying earlier, it is quite of a tricky scenario there because I know for a fact they were using a combination in between a Marshall J JMP50 and a Mesa Boogie dual rectifier in the studio. If you want more info on that, there's a really cool video by a uh, producer like a pro, our good friend Warren, talking with the actual uh, audio engineer for this album. But the fact is that most of you guys, and me included, are not gonna get a Marshall JMP50 and a dual rectifier head just to cover that one song. So I made kind of an executive decision here and went with the JCM 800 because Soundgarden also famously used uh, that amp in a stack format, of course, but that amp nonetheless. But you know that if you wanna get the exact same sound, it's gonna be a blend in between Mesa and Marshall uh, JMP50. And now with that said, let's go on to the final part of that video, which is as usual, the most important one and is how to play the song. Now, before we get into it, please note that the tuning for this song is drop D. So you take your standard E-tuned guitar and you drop the low E down to D, making a power chord look like this, which is cool. Also, if you're not much of a visual learner, that's okay. Go have a look in the description box and there'll be a link to the tabs for that song. If not, let's get started and have a look at our fretting hand. <laughs> Not much to say about this, uh, not really complicated to play per se, it's a good song to start getting into that kind of uh, rock or even just drop tuned uh, songs and it's such a cool riff, it's such a legendary riff. So yeah, with that said, let's have a look at the picking side of it. Right, 
again, if you need some more time with that to practice, the tabs are available in the description box, as well as a link to everything that I'm using, including the gear that you would ideally uh, get for that particular setup. It's all down there. But with that said, I think that's it, guys. You have everything you need to hit the tone on Spoonman by Soundgarden. As usual, I hope you had fun and I hope you learned something. Uh, if so, please consider liking this video and subscribing to the channel. Let me know in the comments what song you'd like to see next and I'll do my best to get to you as quickly as possible. Now I wish you all a fantastic week and I will see you next Monday in a new episode of Hit the Tone. Oh, my God.